champions we have just 6 months and after that two biggest exams are ahead kct 2026 and pu 2026 so and we just have 24 hours a day so now every pu 2 student has only one question in their mind at this point of time and that is ma'am how do i prepare for both kct and pu 2 to together without losing my mind so yes definitely the pressure is real but what if i tell you with the right strategy right guidance and right resources you can prepare for both the exams and still remain stress free so if you are also stuck in this confusion this video is a complete guide for you so in today's video we will be talking about the ultimate goal so the ultimate goal is not just passing these exams but qualifying them in a, with a good score and getting admission in the top ra in the top colleges so now for this we definitely have to know the syllabus and the question pattern of kct and pu2 so how the syllabus is overlapping and what is different in them next the most important question which resources we should follow because we have just uh six months left and multiple books thousands of books is just equal to total confusion so here i'll tell you what resources exactly you need to follow so that you can complete your syllabus in time and then most important problem that is time management and it's very very simple solution that is integrated self study which not only uh doubles your efficiency but also saves your time and lastly i'll give you a month by month six month study plan where i'll tell you how will you cover the syllabus when will you do revision and how to do mock test so let's dive in dive into this video and unlock your success path so first of all as i told you the ultimate goal is to take admission in the top colleges and now to take admission in the top colleges we need top rank in case 2026 and to get the top rank in case 2026 we need high marks in pu2 2026 examination and also high score in kct 2026 examination why because in rank determination 50 uh, sorry yeah because in rank determination 50% weightage is given to pu2 marks and 50% weightage is given to kct marks right so both the exams are equally important we cannot uh, like uh, ignore any one of them otherwise this ultimate goal that is admission into top colleges will not be fulfilled now moving to the syllabus of both the exams so if you see in syllabus kct syllabus you have pu2 and pu1 pu2 has 70% questions and 30% from pu1 whereas in pu2 there are only pu2 chapters and there are 37 chapters including pcm now why i am considering only pcm because pcm marks will be considered for your rank determination okay so now if i move forward about the pattern of the exam so there will be 180 questions physics 60 chemistry 60 math 60 all of you know that the question type will be mcqs you have to be very speed and accurate here and the questions will be mostly ncert centric and there is no negative marking so we have to focus on accuracy and time management in the exam and coming to pu2 we have mostly theory and step wise uh presentation should be there in answers you will be getting both long and short answers derivations definitions and diagrams but what is the good so we th we see that the syllabus is entirely different or i can say the question pattern exam pattern is entirely different but what is the good thing here the good thing is overlap of the syllabus and resources so you see 70% will be from pu2 so if you master this one then you are also taking the advantage of the 70% in pu2 which will help you in your preparation right so that is the good news that preparation can be integrated you don't have to prepare them separately you can prepare them together and how we will do that that's the spotlight of today's video now coming to the next thing that is resources very very important less time and you should be using only and only relevant resources do not go for many books that will create a total confusion and you will not have time to read all the books also so first of all for concepts you just need ncert books okay ncert of pu1 and pu2 so don't refer to any other book only ncert after reading concepts we have to solve pyqs and we have to do question practice so for kct uh okay just a minute yeah so for kct i will recommend you to take mtg book okay 
because it has PYQs plus practice questions also. So, MTG book is very good. If not, only for PYQs, if you want, you can take Disha publication also. But at this point of time, I will recommend you to take MTG because it has a lot of practice questions. And for practice questions of board, I will recommend Jivit book, okay, for PU2. Here also a lot of questions practice are there and you also have PYQs of last 4-5 years, okay, which is definitely a good thing because in the same book you can do all the things. You can also practice questions, extra questions, hot questions, then you have uh, fill in the blanks, every type of question is there in this particular book. So I will recommend that please get these books before you start your preparation. So we have NCRTs, KCT and Jivit. So four, so for each subject I can say you just three books you need for each subject, okay. Now moving forward to best study resources for mock test. So after we have done PYQs, question practice, we also need to write mock test. So for mock test, for KCT, we will be launching our KCT Abhyas test series 2026 in the month of November, December. That you can purchase, that will fulfill all your demands here. And for PU2, PU government uh, will be or KEA board will be releasing the model test papers. So you can use model test papers of 2025 also, 2026 also for practice. Apart from them, different district pre-board papers are also available. Okay, that also we can use. So, a lot of question papers we will get here for practice, for mock test. Clear? So, resources are clear. Now, let us come to our problem. What is the major problem? We all know that is time management. When time management I say, so if you are focusing more on boards, you are focusing too much time on theory and doing uh, theoretical questions, long answer questions and you are ignoring KCT PYQs, uh, like KCT questions and those students who are uh, writing or preparing more for KCT, at that time you are ignoring how to write the theoretical answers, derivations, long answers that you are skipping. So it is very, very important that you should have a balanced preparation for both the exams that is KCT and PU2, right? Now I have discussed the problem and the solution is something called as integrated study. This is the solution and one and only solution for the problem. How do we do integrated study? What is the meaning of integrated study? Let us see that. So very simple. You have to just select one chapter, okay? Then you have to prepare for both the exams. So this saves time and reduces duplication. Means you don't have to read the same chapter again and again. Once at one time you're studying for PU2, another time you're studying for KCT, no. So it will save your time, increase your efficiency and reduce the duplication part. So how to do this? So very thing, very simple thing. One hour, suppose you are studying for two hours a day, okay, you are studying chemistry solutions chapter for two hours. One hour, you have to revise the concept or study the concept for one hour. After that, 30 minutes, you should be taking time to solve the subjective questions. From where will you get the subjective questions? From the resources that I have told you. After that, you will be doing 30 minutes KCT PYQs. Okay, so for every chapter, if you follow this breakup of two hours, then you can simultaneously prepare for KCT and PU2, right? So that will help you. So now let's see a six month study plan that will that I'm going to share with you. And I'll tell you which month, which chapters you should be doing, when you should be completing. So I'll give you a proper study plan now. So please take a screenshot of this and use it whenever, uh, like paste it uh, or write it down and paste it on your study table. And please strictly follow the timetable because we don't have more time, only six months is left. Okay, so first of all, if I go to phase one, September, October, November, okay, in this time you have to focus uh, like on physics you have to complete these chapters, chemistry these chapters, maths these chapters, okay. Now I am not going for biology because uh, biology mostly it is not required for KCT engineering students. If you are there, you can include that as well, okay. Now the question here is, at this time ma'am, which one should be our major focus point? So I will tell you. KCT should be your major focus point at this time, okay? Means, suppose, what does that mean? Suppose you are solving 
one hour you have taken for understanding the concepts 45 minutes you can give for kct pyqs and 15 minutes you can just write down any pu2 long answer question like this you can divide at this point of time i'll tell you the reason why i'm saying this so september october november physics these chapters please take a screenshot then in month of october you have to complete these chapters please take a screenshot next in the month of november you have to complete these chapters okay so now on sundays or holidays you have to give mock test revise the entire week that you have studied and if anything is not you are not able to complete in that particular week you can just finish if anything is remaining so what is your task your task is to break this monthly targets to weekly targets to daily targets okay you have to break it based on what has what how much syllabus you have completed like for example these chapters the first chapters must have been done in your classes right you might have finished it so you will not require much time to complete or to brush that chapters so based on that you have to prepare your weekly and daily schedule so this is the ultimate by the end of september these all chapters should be completed okay so please accordingly make your uh, daily plan and weekly plan now moving to the next thing that is what should be your daily routine for september october and november morning you should be doing revision of what you studied the last night and pu2 writing practice so total this is one i means 30 minutes you can do revision and 30 minutes you can do answer writing okay if you are not having one hour also you can reduce this to 45 minutes and this you can do 15 minutes okay so at least one hour of study in the morning is required to revise and to do some writing practice next in the evening or in the night study you have to study the concept then solve kct pyqs for the same 2 plus 1 so 2 hours you can give for concept and one hour you can give for pyqs okay so you in this 2 hour you can study two chapters or any one chapter two different subjects that is your wish like for example you studied solution half uh, like one hour you studied solution half an hour you solved its question another one hour you studied electric charges and field and another half hour you solved the question so ultimately three hours should be denoted like this the division part how are you dividing it that is your choice then on weekend attempt one chapter wise kct uh, test for physics chemistry and maths so this test this you can simply take from the mtg book just select 10 questions and start solving those 10 questions that is a simple small test of 10 questions you should be doing on every weekend or every sunday okay and strong focus should be there on ncert because it is required for both boards and kct no other reference book is required okay next coming to phase 2 december and january in this time you have to focus on pu1 syllabus okay then you have to how to complete this pu1 syllabus you have to just watch one shot videos of these chapters we have in our channel after that you have to solve the pyqs of those channel and after that whatever questions you are getting wrong just note down in the error notebook so that you revise them during the exams okay now this will be the focus in december and january now february and march should be complete focus on pu2 boards so what you have to do at this point of time you have to just revise your short notes whatever short notes you have revised chemistry physics maths just revise the short notes after that you have to solve the model test paper so we have in our channel for 2025 all the three model pay test papers were solved 2026 papers we will also solve so you have to solve the model test papers and after that whatever mistakes you are doing you have to note it down and you have to revise it during the exam now after the exams are over we have the phase 4 the april month where the most or the only focus should be your kct so at least daily 3 hours of mcq and pyqs practice you should do and 2 hours of mock test means two different subjects physics chemistry one day then maths chemistry another day so you have to write 2 hours of mock test and one hour of analysis of the uh, mock test okay so 3 to 5 6 hours you have to study at that time your classes will not be there so you have full day time you can definitely utilize this in the better way so what we have to do we have to just practice pyqs and more mcq questions and after that you have to write the abhyas test series or any other test series we have taken but this is our 2025 test series and the same one will be there in 2026 also and after that whatever mistakes you are doing you have to note it down in error notebook so that you can revise it 
okay so that is the ultimate plan here and this is how you can complete the syllabus for both kct and pu2 so please remember september october november till january i can say your major focus should be on kct and like not you are not ignoring pu2 but giving more stress on kct in the month of february only pu2 and you can just devote 30 minutes per day if time permits to do some kct pyqs so that you are in touch you don't forget and then march complete pu2 and april complete kct right so i will just note it down september october november kct will be there more than pu2 up to september october november december january february and march you have to give pu2 more 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 importance than kct then april you have only kct okay so please follow this strategy and if you are ready to this ready to accept this plan please put a comment top hashtag top thousand okay so that is our target and if we work in this way we are definitely going to achieve this so thank you for watching all the best and if you have any more doubts please comment down i'll definitely address it